Hi everybody, this is part one of a technical overview into building large language models, also known by the letters LLM. The audience level for this overview is at the undergraduate level, without a background in machine learning. Large language models have received a lot of attention in the last two years since the debut of ChatGPT on November 30th, 2022. A large language model is the core technology behind ChatGPT. But don't confuse the capabilities of ChatGPT with a large language model. ChatGPT is a software application built on top of a large language model developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT itself is not a large language model. Keep that distinction in mind, even though ChatGPT is commonly referred to as a large language model. The letters GPT stand for General Pre-Trained Transformer. In a moment, I will talk more about what that means. The letters GPT are mostly used by OpenAI as a means of branding their specific large language models. Remember that a large language model does not have to be described as a GPT. Keep that distinction in mind. Other popular applications built on top of a large language model include Claude from Anthropic, Gemini from Google, and Meta AI. Again, I want to emphasize the distinction that these applications are not large language models, but software applications that enhances the capabilities of large language models. For more on that distinction from a conceptual level, I refer you to two papers by Murray Shanahan, who is a principal research scientist at Google DeepMind and professor of cognitive robotics at Imperial College London. Recently, it has become commonplace to use the term large language model, both for the generative models themselves and for the systems in which they are embedded, especially in the context of conversational agents or AI assistants such as ChatGPT. But for philosophical clarity, it is crucial to keep the distinction between these things to the fore. The bare bones LLM itself, the core component of an AI assistant, has a highly specific, well-defined function, which can be described in precise mathematical and engineering terms. It is in this sense that we can speak of what an LLM really does at the level of its underlying operation. The reason it is important to distinguish ChatGPT as a software application that is a layer on top of a large language model is that the separation helps you understand the possibilities of large language models, specifically the possibilities of building software applications that are powered by large language models. Here's an example from my area of focus. Media and entertainment. You're playing a video game and encounter a non-player character, an NPC. In games, the dialogue with an NPC is scripted. If the game utilizes a large language model, the developer can craft a wide-ranging set of conversations that could change the player's experience of the game in ways that could never be done through scripted dialogue. Yet, this example brings up a very important aspect the developer wants to give the resemblance that the player is in an open world environment with unlimited conversations on any topic. But for reasons of ethics and safety, the developer needs to add guardrails. This safety component of the game is a layer added onto the large language model as part of the overall software application. Remember that a video game is really a software application. In my course this fall, Programming for non-programmers, I have 20 students who are learning about coding from the perspective of a product manager. Each student is developing a proposal for an AI-enabled application built on top of a large language model. Here are examples of the ideas that they are working on. Several students are working on ideas for using AI as a tutor on various subjects such as an interactive app for learning U.S. politics. Other students are working on ideas relating to healthcare and fitness. One student is working on an app idea for using AI in fashion. Another is thinking about how to use AI in cooking and for recipes. 
The point of the assignment is for students to learn that there are many possibilities for utilizing large language models. While ChatGPT provides an OK interface for conversations, more specialized apps can provide a more engaging user experience. An application, whether it's a video game or ChatGPT, is a system. An application is a system of components. For simplicity, we can start from a top-level view of two components, the large language model and the software that creates the user experience. The remainder of this lecture will focus on the components of the large language model. Another lecture will look at building a specific user experience through software that interacts with a large language model via an API, an application programming interface. A system perspective on large language models have two primary components, data and algorithms. The algorithms are statistical procedures implemented in code that process the data. The processing of the data is known as training. The key factor is that the algorithms learn from the data how to create new data. This form of deep learning in which the algorithms and code have the ability to create, to generate new content that does not appear in the training data is known as generative AI. The processing of vast amounts of data takes enormous computing capacity. Advances in compute, specifically the GPU, the graphic processing unit, type of semiconductor is responsible for the advances that we are seeing in AI. The data used to train large language models does not get as much focus in most discussions of AI as the algorithms. But in order to understand what types of data you need, you need to understand the algorithms. For large language models, the set of algorithms are broadly referred to as neural networks. There are different types of architectures for neural networks. The architecture of a neural network define how all the algorithms fit together through code. For large language models today, the most common architecture is the transformer. The transformer architecture was developed by researchers at Google and explained in a landmark paper titled, Attention is All You Need, which was published in 2017. And as with all good scientific research, the code was made available for use by others in advancing machine learning research. The article defines the transformer architecture in this graphic, which is commonly seen though seldom explained. And indeed, I am not going to attempt explaining it in this video. For our purposes today, be aware that the transformer is the dominant architecture for large language models. Will transformers always be the main architecture used for large language models? That's a question that machine learning researchers are working on. You are probably wondering what attention means in the title of attention is all you need. The word attention refers to attention mechanism, which is a machine learning method. A key article that explains attention in machine learning is Structured Attention Networks, published in 2017. I want to take a stab at explaining that in another video. But for now, let's move on. The architecture of machine learning models is fascinating, though I'm not a machine learning engineer. My background is in information science, and I'm currently teaching data science. I think of computing and actually the world from the perspective of information from the viewpoint of processing information. The next video in this series will take a look at how autoregressive language models generate text. For another overview of AI, I suggest you view my video. Does AI understand the world? Do you understand the world? I will leave the link in the description below this video.